Hello! In this video we will see the process to import an architectural model created with Revit into Rhino and export it back from Rhino into Revit using the IFC file format. We will be able to do this process using Visual Arc, which includes a built-in IFC import and export plugin which makes it possible to exchange IFC files between Rhino and other AEC software packages such as Revit, as we will see in this video, or Archicad, TechLab Insight, etc. As you may know, the IFC file format, Industry Foundation Classes, is a standard way of exchanging objects in the building industry to reduce loss of information when transmitting files between different applications. So first of all, we will export this basic sample model that Revit provides to IFC. This model contains several architectural objects such as walls, windows, railings, doors, etc. To export this model to IFC, export and select the IFC file format. Save. And now in Rhino we are going to import this IFC file we have generated before. Going to File, Open, we select the IFC file type and the model we have created before. Open. Here we go. So if we have a closer look at the model, we can see that the native Rabbit objects are now recognized as native visual art objects, for example this wall or this window here. Actually, some of the doors and windows in the model are recognized by visual art as doors and windows with a profile and a three block assigned. If we have a look at the style of this window, we go to the style properties, we see that this style has a 3D block assigned. Some other objects are just recognized as block instances, but they are still keep the IFC information, as we can see under this IFC tag icon. Also, the model keeps information about the different levels that were created in Revit. So we can now work on this model, for example, we can create a crazy shape here for this wall. So we will generate a couple of curves, maybe from the top view. Okay. I will create a curve to generate a closed polish surface. I will create a copy in place of this curve. I will join it with this curve, so we get a closed curve, and I will do the same with the other curve. Okay, now I will flatten this curve. Move it here. 
same for the other one. Make sure it's at the bottom. And now I will create a loft between the two curves. Here we go. Well, I will cap this polish surface. To make sure I've got a closed polish surface and we'll join it to the wall I have here. So I'm going to run the visual arc add solids command. I select this wall, now I select this solid and I've got here a single wall with a freeform shape. Now, to export this model to IFC, simply go to File, Save As, we select the IFC file format, and give it a name. Now, back in Revit, I'm going to open this IFC file we have generated. Select the IFC file, type, and I select this model. So we've got the model back in Revit, and as we can see, we have created this wall that is recognized in Revit as a native Revit wall.